Madam Rita Paulson. Nimefurahi kwanza kuwa na wewe katika kipindi hiki cha maisha mseto kama mwanamke mwenzangu you really inspired me. Mm. Nimefurahi na ninaendelea kufurahi. Mm. Umekuwa na kipindi cha BSS yani Bongo Star Search. Yeah. Mhm. Iki kipindi kimeinua watu wengi na mpaka sasa still we have talented people ambao wamekuwa yeah. raised up from BSS. Yeah. Tuna moja na ya wale vijana kuna huyu Walter sasa anaimba nyimbo za injili mm. na wengine wengi ambao tayari walipita kabla yake. Mm. Nini ilikupelekea wewe kuanzisha hii BSS? Um, basically um, nilianzisha Benchmark Production. Ilikuwa ni kama ni kampuni ya kwanza ya production ya so nilikuwa na na tengeneza videos za mziki. Lakini wakati huo wasanii wengi walikuwa na vipaji lakini hakuna uwezo na hawakuwa wanaweza hata kunilipa mimi kufanya eh, videos. Kwa hiyo nikawa nafanya hizo videos for free. Kwa hiyo na, na kuzitengeneza hizo videos nimefanya video nyingi ya Professor J za na watu wengi ndio wanaanza kufanya hizo kina, kina machozi yani au. So and then I was like ni, ni jinsi gani naweza kuwasaidia wote kwa pamoja alafu bila mimi kuwa kwamba eti um, I'm, this is what I'm doing kama vile uh, charity can let me nikawa naangalia sehemu nyingine wanavyofanya kwa hiyo nikisema hawa watu nikiwapa nafasi nikifanya mashindano kama wata, hata kama asiposhinda na kwamba sio video ya mmoja lakini wataonwa na watu wengine wengi kwa hiyo kipindi nitawamulika watu wataonwa wataonwa yani kwa BSS goes on air kama miezi mitano hivi. Kwa hiyo muda wote ule kama umefika mpaka top 10 watu wanakuona, wanakuona ukija kushinda, unapata hiyo hela, unatengeneza mbadilisha maisha yako. Kwa hiyo kuna watu wengi ambao wamepitia BSS wameonwa na watu na wame wamepata um, wamepata uh, support nyingi nyingi sana. Wengine hawakuamwasiki kwenye muziki lakini wamepata ajira, wengine wako kwenye ma radio station kama hapa kuna wengine yangu ni ma presenter huko studio. Radio nyingi mnawasikia kina Farida, hao wote wamepitia kwenye Bongo Star Search. Na sio lazima eti wamekuwa hit na singles na nini lakini wamepata platform ya kuonwa what they can do more than singing na wengine wanaimba wengine wengine, wengine wana wameajiriwa kwenye mabendi hakuna bendi hapa da sama ambayo haina mtu wa Bongo Star Search. So nikaichukulia ile kama ni prof kama nilivyosema nina hiyo feeling ya kumpa mtu nafasi. Kwa wale watu walikuwa wanaonyesha kwamba wana uwezo wa kitu fulani lakini wanahitaji nafasi. How can I give nafasi to more than one person? That's nikaanzisha hicho kitu just from ya. Kwenye nafasi sasa Bongo Star Search ilikuwa inawafikia watu wengi katika kila mkoa. Tu, tupige picha kwa mfano katika kila mkoa mmoja zaidi ya wa, vijana mia moja au zaidi ya watu mia moja wanakuja wanapata nafasi hata kupita mbele yako. Auoni kwa ma umefanya ukatili wa kundi la watu wengi uh, kufaidi matunda yako na moyo wako kwa wakati mmoja sasa umekaa tu katika uh, TV inaangaliwa na watu wengi lakini sio moja kwa moja kama Bongo Star Search Nime diversify mm. my name I'm using my name to do another show mm. Mimi maarufu wa Rita Paulson show umetoka Rita Paulson show kujulikana nilitumia ile kwamba I am known nimeshatengeneza brand ama brand name nikatengeneza brand nyingine ambayo ni Rita Paulson show ambayo sihitaji kujintroduce nimechukua popularity yangu ya kwenye Rita Paul, ya kwenye Bongo Sausage naitumia kwenye Rita Paulson show na nitafanya zingine nyingi sana zenye kutumia jina langu because I am a brand I am that smart to use my brand. So Rita Paul Sensual yutakwepo itakuja na nyingine na brand zingine na brand zingine as long as Rita Paul uh, uh, my name is a brand in the whole country 30 million know me. Mm. So Salama has a show. She has another show. So this is how we utilize this is this, this is what we tumia brand zetu sio kwamba tumeacha. Bongo sasa cha tujaiacha ipo na mimi kwa kwamba eti nafanya show nyingine it, does, it doesn't mean kwa kwamba bongo sasa tumeacha. Unanielewa? Hiyo ni just you know we, kwanza bongo sasa sio kitu pekee yake inachokifanya na vitu vingine vingi sana anavyofanya ambavyo hauvijui kwa hiyo it's not that that's my job it's one of my products it's one of my job my my things kwa hiyo ku diversify brand eh, sio kwamba nimeacha ipo sana sawa so, tuje kwenye bongo star sasa okay. sasa mwendelezo wake baada ya iposimamia uh, lini una mpango wa kuinua sasa na kuendelea tunaendelea kufanya tunaendelea ku, ku, kufanya michakato na kama mm. ulivyoona hali ya uchumi sasa kidogo kuna matatizo nina nini Uh, issue ni kwamba Bongo Sasa ni show kubwa sana. Ni sio show na kurupuka nayo tu unaanza kufanya na you need to have good sponsorship and stuff. Na tunaifanyia kazi na tumeipa break ili muitamani ili muiulizie 
when it's back it's back with a bang huu mwaka tukifanya bongo sasa tutakuwa ni mwaka wa kumi, by the way so we want to do something really nice tunafikiria jinsi gani tutabadilisha mambo changamoto na vitu kama hivyo lakini bongo sasa ni brand ya miaka kumi, haiwezi kwenda down the drain we to put price on the brand so it's a very big brand ya kusema eti unaiweka kwenye kikapu kwa hiyo brands are vitu ambavyo mtu ambaye ameweza kukaa kwenye show ya aina yote na mm-hmm. haujajiongeza mm-hmm. uh, then you are wasting your brain uh, you are wasting your fame na tuna hiyo tatizo how tuwezi kujitambua kwamba i am a brand naweza nkaongeza nkafanyisha jina langu vitu vingine na vitu vingine so msikilizaji bongo sasa ipo sana na mwaka huu tuta celebrate 10 years of bongo sasa ni one of the oldest brands kwenye nchi yetu hapa ambayo yeah ni chache ambazo zimefika miaka kwa eh, eh, nani... kama walikuwa fahamu eh. uh, kuna wasanii kibao walishapita wali kwenye bongo sasa wengi sana eh. hata mimi sio msanii lakini nilipita sana tu sana tu nitakukumbusha nitakukumbusha najua mbona nakukumbusha madam eh, kwe, sasa kwenye kwenye ila la, 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 <laughs> kuna, kuna 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 mtu hapa inawezekana anasikiliza anatamani kujua tu Bongo Star Search itarudi tena lini yani kimsingi Tatuwezi kusema date uh, tunafanyia kazi na kawaida tukiwa tuna tukiwa, tukiwa tuna tumeisha tumeisha kameisha mambo yetu huwa tunafanya press conference tuna uh, tuna tawa taarifa kwenye radio stations na vitu kama hivyo so tu, tuta tuta tutatangaza tutasema ni lini either is this year or whatever lakini tutatotaongea watu watasikia lakini uh, stay assured kama ipo na itaendelea kuepo yeah, yeah. haswa una miss nini yani kwa kipindi chote hichi mnafanya mambo yenu kuna kitu gani unakimisi sana kwenye BSS uh, BSS na miss kwa sababu watu wanaipenda sana kuangalia mm. mm. na kila nikikutana na wana kwenye page zangu wana wanaiulizia sana wana wana wanataka sana kuangalia na miss kwamba tulikuwa tunagusa nyoyo za watu mm. tuna in, katika ku, 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 kuwapa watu maisha tofauti pia tulikuwa tunaburudisha familia you know umeshatuona timu yetu iko people kind of so it, na miss kukutana na watu tofauti kwa sababu kila mwaka uh, bongo sasa wanaweza kusema tunarudia vile vile lakini ni kwamba every year tunakutana na watu wapya vitu uko vipya talents mpya ni kitu ambacho you look forward unataka kujua siji mwaka huu Arusha tutamuona mtu aina gani siji mwaka huu atakuwa mshindi wanafananaje siji kitu huko vitakuwa vya namna gani i miss to see those new things vinakuwa vinaongeza maisha kwenye maisha yangu yeah. wewe <laughs> e, kuna kuna kuna, kuna, kuna swali moja nyingine pia walikuwa wanajiuliza sana <laughs> wasanii wengi ambao wanapita kwenye BSS hususan wale wanaoshinda <laughs> eh, huwa hawafanyi vizuri kwenye mziki badala yake unaweza kukutana namba 2 namba 3 ndio wanafanya vizuri e, unadhani nini huwa kinawaangusha vijana wanaoshinda uh, wafanye vizuri this is thing the thing is uh, ushinde usishinde ukiweza kufika top 10 ukashindwa kufanikiwa ni juu yako mwenyewe unaelewa kwa hiyo hakuna mtu ambaye haelewi kama industry ya muziki ni ngumu whether unatoka bongo sasa or not lakini sielewi kwa nini kila mara watu wanangangania ansi ya bongo stars it's a serious issue easy stereotypes zenu na hii industry politics kibao you know na i think you know what i'm want to say kwa hiyo sio kwamba ni wao mnahusika pia sisi yani ma radio kama nyinyi eh? eh, kwa hiyo <laughs> kwa hiyo issue ni kwamba wanafanya vizuri Deal. lakini they need uh, sasa sisi sio promo, sio managers mm. sio promoters tunawapa nafasi tunawasukuma huko kwa ni managers wanawapiki wengine wanakuwa na managers kuna watu kama Jerry Carroll Jerry Mayo wanafanya mshindi mara nyingi ana wanapata milioni za hamsini unaelewa kwa hiyo ile milioni hamsini mtu na ni anaamua mwenyewe anafanya nini anataka kuzinvest tote kwenye mziki ambao hautomlipa sana au anataka kufanya vitu vingine mtu kama huyo msema Walter Walter ana studio yake anatengeneza biashara kwa hiyo sisi ni kumimpawa mtu jinsi atakavyoamua kutumia hela zake ni juu yake mwenyewe lakini zile hela wengi ambao wamezipata wamezitumia vizuri lakini kusikika yani mnasema itamfanya vizuri sasa zingine mnaweza mkasema mtu afanye vizuri kwa sababu hasikiki kwenye radio So lazima eti kwamba asikike sana kwenye radio ndo mm. anafanya vizuri. Watu wanafanya vizuri. Kuna this guy ambaye yuko Twanga Pepeta anafanya vizuri sana, sana. Lakini asikike hapa kwenye hii radio. Wako wengi sana. Walter Chilambo kuna wengi. Walter alikuwa mshindi, yule jamaa ambaye yuko eh, he, alikuwa mshindi. Uh, watu wanafanya wana mambo yao. Wana mambo sao, yao wanafanya. Sao. Okay. Na nisi wameamua kuchukua zile hela wameinvest kwenye biashara zao, wanafanya vitu vizuri. Sawa, so, madam. Mm-hmm. Wacha tukusafirisha kidogo. Unamkumbuka huyu inawezekana hakuingia kwenye top 10 kama tunavyosema kwamba wengi hawaingii huko kwenye ushindi lakini wanafanya vizuri. Hebu msikize ukijana. 
Maraika ninakupenda maraika Maraika Yaani umewaribu sana wao wengine Uko unafanya unafanya mazoezi nje hapo eh Nilikusikia nishakupa note ingia mazuri No Say you say you Hapo nini sio maraika Maraika Umewaribu wimbo mzuri sana mimi ni Umewaribu wimbo mzuri sana Namkumbuka huyo si harmonize kwa hiyo unataka kusema nini? Sasa sikiliza. One of the things about Bongo yeah. Sasa or mm. any other machine ya kama hivi. Mm. Unajua ni kama hakuambiwa hujui mm. labda singekuwa who he is today. Yeah, man. Yeah. So what do you want to say? So kwa mara nyingi ndio maana tunaweka mtu kama salama, mm. akutakupa changamoto, you go and fight and get what you want kama hakuambiwa hujui alienda kaka kapiga kisha kusema one day i'm gonna be a star mm. he would not have been kama singeambiwa singepitia kwenye hiyo eh, ile wanasemaga hata ile dhahabu lazima ichomwe ije itokee iwe ki dani kama hivi you gonna melt the diamond na huwa wanakuja kusema shukrani kwa kutupa somo Sio. na wanapenda salama na watu sana mm. tu ile anavu you know you need to hear that mm. na ndio maana mimi siwezi mm. kukapare nikawa judge peke yangu kwa sababu mimi na personality tofauti wewe na personality tofauti lakini wengi ambao unawaambia no No? na anaju anaenda kwani hapo wewe we, kama unge, ulishai kuwa judge ungemchagua na hiyo maraika ungemchagua <laughs> question <laughs> <laughs> ungemchagua ungemwambia yes uh, uh, Rambat, uh, ungemwambia uh, yes huyo amewahi kukaa ungemwambia and he was so. not even good <laughs> yani huyo alikuwa ha Eh? Hata katika familia yes. mama yes. anawezekana akawa na watoto watano lakini mmoja akawa anampenda sana. Sa. Katika wote ambao wameshawahi kushinda katika BSS. Eh. Mshindi mmoja yupi ambaye wewe uh, unamkubali sana. Wote na wakubali. Lazima ambao ni umeshinda. Lazima wepo mmoja hata katika familia. Asiko style hiyo mimi. It's either you can or you cannot. Sa. Kwa hiyo sina mfavorite. Okay, labda katika wale ambao pengine hawajashinda pia mm. walipita mm. kwenye 20 bora, mm. 10 bora. Uh, yupi ambayo walau amefanya ame yani unamuona sasa anafanya vizuri na huwa alikuja kwako akasema nakubali ulichonishauri mm. asante sana umenifanya nifike hapa alikuja ku appreciate wengi mfano nani na nani walau wawili watatu msechu alikuwa namba watu namba 2 mhm ah huyo majina yao unajua miaka harmonize vipi harmonize sijamkutana naye yuko too busy lakini nakutanaga naye kwenye mm. uh, tunaishi miana na hajawahi kusema kitu chochote kwamba Uh, it his inyi ndo mnajenga hiyo mazingira kwa hiyo i don't have a problem with him uh, i think nimeshakutana naye kwa diamonds mm-hmm. mambo ya diamond diamond so we good sijui wenyewe lakini yeah it's like that wako wengi sana wengi majina yao wanaweza kasa unakutana nao kwenye mabendi sehemu nyingi nyingi safi sana kina kare wengi wengi sana okay bwana mm-hmm. kuna maswali mengi sana bado hapa hapo hapa tumalizana hii bss after ende kwenye issue nyingine ulikuwa unasema pia amekatisha ndoto za watu hey, ndoto ndo hata mwenyewe bwana mbea nilikuwa jaji nilikuwa ndoto zangu pia kwa jaji yeah. kwa hiyo bss ikiendelea hivyo mm-hmm. Ni, ni, ni ndo ukumbuke ile niliyo sikasema ile bwana ndoto yani ndoto kweli bwana na sema mzima ndoto eh, nyingi sana eh, <laughs> mimi naamini kama kwa, kwa maelezo ambayo kanipa kwa ah, okay. eh, tuko mai eh, naamini tuko mai na wewe kijana ambaye uko mbea sasa uko Dar es Salaam maoni kama yeye imekusogeza relax wewe ulikuwa uko mbea pamoja mbea sasa uko mjini da Maybe walikuona kwenye BSC sasa watu wa Times FM marafiki zangu. Eh, hey, full size na hivyo hivyo, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah so. Madam Rita. Yes, madam. Umekuwa uki wa inspire vijana mm-hmm. lakini hujawahi kufikiria hata mara moja kuona kwamba ni wakati mwafaka sasa mm-hmm. kudili na wanawake kama wanawake mm-hmm. vijana hawa wengine mm-hmm. sawa utaendelea nao lakini ukafikiria kutengeneza project ya wanawake. Um Bridge Post and Show ukiangalia sana utaona kwamba ndugu mwelekeo tulionao kind of so mara nyingi watu ambao tunawa showcase ni wanawake ambao they have done vitu fulani fulani ambao vinaweza kuinspire wanawake wengine mimi si sasa uwezi kusema eti naweza kufanya kitu wana, cha wanawake tu mm-hmm. nataka kufanya kitu cha jamii kwa sababu what we believe ni kwamba mwanamke akielimika eh. na akifunguka ufahamu na kufanya mm-hmm. kitu fulani mm-hmm asilimia kubwa ya jamii uh-huh. inakuwa uh-huh. imenyanyuka uh-huh. uh-huh. nilidhani kwamba ni vyema sana kuwekeza nguvu zaidi kwa mwanamke kwa sababu akielewa uh-huh. hata baba hata uh-huh. shida kwa wanawake wanawake si, si kama sina uh, intention lakini wana kipaumbele especially kwenye isho ambayo eh, ninafanya sasa hivi uh-huh. ukiangalia vizuri utakuta kwamba yani me mainly me being a woman I'm there inspiring other women na nakakisha na watu ambao nakuongea nao wana inspire wanawake wengine in so doing kama nilivyosema mm. brand nyingine inaweza kuzaliwa mm. out of that 
sana. Okay. We as a woman mm. lazima tuna wale mentors. Mm. Wewe pamoja na yote uliyopitia. Mm. Lakini what I believe ni kwamba yupo mtu mwingine ambaye alikuwa anakuinspire pia. Mm. Ukimwangalia sema oh my god, I can be like that. Mm. Ni nani labda unaweza kumsema kwamba huyu she's one among the people who inspired me in my life. Uh, mimi I am my own role model I have to say that. I am my own role model so I'm like really Rita you got you did it you did it like this kwa hiyo kuna watu ambao wame inspire uh, um, nimekuwa nikiangalia show kama ya Oprah Ivy amepitia vitu vitu vingi I have always got into history kuelewa uh, how did he do how did she do it na alipitia hayo mambo she was abused when she was young na nini and then now she's the richest woman in the world so Oprah is one of my big uh, role models and of course myself mhm okay <laughs> that's good <laughs> unawaambia nini wanawake ambao they are somewhere crying yani hawajui wafanye nini while ni wazima wana mikono miwili macho mawili miguu and they can do something mm-hmm. unawaambia nini nawaambia wanawake uh, ni, 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 ni mindset kwanza kuna kitu kimoja ambacho mimi si believe in Kud, wanawake wana ile issue si mimi sio feminist sana kiasi hicho wana ile issue ya kwamba mimi ame woman kwa hiyo haja haja ameona ngazi kama hivyo haja sogea hata kuzipa anasema hazile ni nyingi sana labda ukisogea kwenye hizo ngazi kuna mtu anaweza akakusaidia kupanda Oh, you understand. So we give up before we start. Mimi nawaambia kwamba don't give up, start. Kushindwa, kufail ni kushinda pia kwa sababu umejaribu. Umeelewa? Tuwe na uthubutu. Kwa hiyo tuna fail kwa sababu hata hatujaanza tumesha fail. Mimi nitaweza vipi kwa sababu mimi ni mwanamke? What? Ni hiyo kitu kwamba mimi ni mwanamke ukiingia nikiingia hapa huyo boss akikataa kunipa kazi nimeshajiweka kwenye akili yangu because I'm a woman. Labda huyu kujibu interview vizuri. Mm. Unaelewa? Tuna hiyo awesome. weakness. Mm. Unaona? Tayari umeshaweka because I'm a woman, kama yale because I'm black. Yaani kama vile. So unaishaua mawazo yako, umeshaua jinsi ya kuji, kujiuliza lakini kwa nini nimeshindwa ile interview? Mm. Kujaribu tena. Ah, mimi si mwanamke bwana. Unakaa pale unaanza kulia. Mwanamke una akili, tena tuna akili nyingi zaidi na we are good leaders. We we good at what we do. That's why we can have babies and stuff. Ni kuile kuondoa ile dhana kwamba mimi naenda ni, ni mwanamke hapa nimeonewa. Fight. Mm. Tunaelewa eh? Sa, yeah. sa. So we tunaogopa kujaribu. Sa. Tunaogopa kushindwa. Kushindwa ni kushinda kwa sababu umejaribu. Yeah, so being a woman haimaanishi kwamba ndio tuko chini. Uh-huh. Na tumekuwa na ile dhana kwamba mm-hmm. wanawake kwa wanawake hatupendani, mm-hmm. mtu anapokwenda tunakukanyagia na sketi. Why don't you channeling the sketi then you go? That's the, that's the whole thing. Mindset yako unahisi kwamba wanawake wanawake wewe kama mwanamke unampenda wewe mwanamke mwingine mm-hmm. start with you do you like the other woman kabla hujasema wewe mwanamke mimi anipende wewe unampenda mhm hapo sasa uh-huh. start you wewe unampenda mimi sina issue na mwanamke wa aina yote kwa sababu mimi napenda napenda kwanza unaanza kujipenda wewe unajipenda wewe mwenyewe unajipenda wewe watu wengine watakupenda na wewe utapenda mtu mwingine kwa hiyo ile ile chain ya kutopendana inakufa it starts with you sawa sawa